this is the PlayStation Vita handheld console. Um, it's coming out in Europe on February the 22nd. It's the latest handheld console, specialist handheld console from Sony. It's going to be £229 with Wi-Fi and £270 with 3G access. It's beautifully styled. It's got this 5-inch OLED screen, uh, really crisp and clear. It's got two analog uh, pads, which are quite small, but a uh, really nice touch, really nice feel to them. It's got the usual array of uh, buttons there for, for a Sony PlayStation device. It's got a D-pad um, on the shoulders, two shoulder buttons and it has two slots at the top. This slot is for the uh, PS Vita game cards. Um, most play PlayStation Vita games are gonna come on. It's a proprietary format, it's like an SD card, slightly bigger. It is backwards compatible with PSP games as well, apparently. The other slot is for accessories. Sony haven't said what these accessories are gonna be, but um, I, I'm not sure, robot arm perhaps, who knows. On the back, this is the interesting part, this is actually a touch sensitive pad. Um, this is one of the first times I've actually seen anything like this. It means you'll be able to control games by touching the back of the screen rather than the front so you don't get your thumbs all the way over it. There's also a camera on the front and on the back here. So there's video chat capabilities. This is the menu for the PlayStation Vita. It's very different from the PlayStation 3 which uses the XMB which is very kind of clean, very kind of stately. This one is all around kind of bubble shaped icons as you can see here, there's an option called Near. Now this is this is Sony's version of uh, the Street Pass feature that comes on Nintendo DS. It'll tell you when there's another Vita player nearby. It'll tell you what they're playing. It'll tell you all their favourite games, and you'll be able to leave virtual gifts for each other as well, which is quite neat. And then of course you have all the games. So maybe we should have a quick look at one. This is an in-house game called Escape Plan, and it's a kind of weird, offbeat, monochrome, Tim Burton-esque style puzzle platformer uh, which makes lots of use of the touch screen so here's my little character here um, I can bang on the walls and make noise and if you go up there's a bulb here you can hit the bulb and eventually oh smashed it <laughs> and come over here and smash that as well so it's a really nice kind of interaction with the screen if you just give the character a prod and he wakes up And you actually direct him around by just stroking in the direction you want him to go. Oops, I've accidentally <laughs> killed him by having the screen in the way. This is likely to be possibly the killer app, really, for in, in the launch of Vita. This is Uncharted Golden Abyss, and it's a, it's a full, proper 3D action adventure starring Nathan Drake. So it's got quite nice control with the analog pads you get that sort you got that sort of same sense of being able to explore a really quite full 3D world as you can see it's got physics objects in the environment just like uncharted on the PS3 lots of climbing the interesting thing though with the climbing though is you don't have to use the buttons if you don't want you can swipe where you want Nathan to go so if i swipe across there he jumps onto that pole there's tilt sensors as well so I'm just going to try and keep it stable while he runs across. What you'll also find in Golden Abyss are these moments where Nathan will come across a scenic feature that he's got to get through. It brings up this little menu here and it, obviously it's pointing out the machete which he's, he's just picked up earlier in the game. So if I click on that, it puts in its hand and it gives me a visual representation of what I've got to do. I've got to swipe the screen that way, that way and down. And then he swipes through the material. He probably could have just got away with doing that once, but clearly likes his machetes. There are going to be 33 games available at launch on February 22nd for Vita. Um, 11 of those are going to be in-house. That's going to be the big games like Uncharted and some interesting experiments like Escape Plan. The games are going to vary in cost from about £25 to £45 for the for the bigger releases. There will obviously be games that are available for download at much smaller cost as well. Um, there will be lots of little um, experimental games, like the sort of games you get on PS3 that you can download through uh, and on, on Xbox Live as well. So there will be, I think, a range of prices, but 
a lot of people are going to be maybe thinking handheld games, £45, and in, you know, with iPhone and Android games around at the moment at 99p. I think what that's going to do is maybe rule out those casual users that may have been interested in a, a handheld games console in the past. One of the big questions about PS Vita is it, it's obviously a lovely piece of hardware. It's, it's really nicely built. It's got a lovely screen. But in the contemporary market, the real question is, who is it for? So obviously seeing in the modern games industry, the massive influence of iOS and Android and also tablet games. But Sony are putting millions into advertising Vita. They've got lots of developers working on Vita games. They've stated that they're not going to be announcing PlayStation 4 E3 this year, that they're going to be concentrating very much on Vita and PS3. All of this indicates that they really do believe that there's this mass hardcore audience still out there who still want to play big console games on the move.